This bad boy is the Phone Sheraton 2 Pro, and I'm going to show you how you can actually get more of a Jimmy Page tone out of this than out of the Les Paul, and I'll let you see the difference in the Les Paul on this. So this is that typical tone he has. <laughs> version may be a little better obviously it is because that's what Jimmy uses uh, <laughs> I feel like the traditional has more of that jangly sound than the Epiphone that's called custom it, it wasn't as jangly as the traditional but the neck of the custom feels better than this one so keep that in mind but yeah if you're just seeking that Jimmy Page sound you can actually get it better with the Sheraton um, weighs a little more but you look really cool <laughs> And uh, so if you got a good back, Sheraton's a good choice. But the Sheraton does weigh more than this. Even though it has the F-holes, it definitely weighs more. Uh, so there you go. Now back to the Sheraton. Now, you can find videos all day about jazz and clean demos. So I'm more showing what else you can do with the Sheraton. And I will show some clean demos too. Uh, but I wanted you to see how it can rock as well. So... <laughs> version show you what the single coils work so the single coils this would be good if you don't want to muddy sound over some slightly overdriven chords uh, for instance this is with the humbucker on this is with the single coil kicked in individual notes ring out a lot better than if you have it in humbucker mode cleans it up so that's pretty nice I'll also show you that this thing can really rock with some sustain so here's this version <laughs> So, 
obviously you can work with it too. So that's what I wanted to show you. That kind of sums up the video. Just the fact that it's not just for jazz. You can rock out with this. You can get that Jimmy Page tone with this even better than all the other Epiphone Les Paul versions. Uh, so if you can't afford a Gibson Les Paul, but you really want to know that Jimmy Page sound, this is as close as you're going to get. And it's beautiful. And again, weighs a lot, but I, I like it. The neck is amazing. The neck's way better than that traditional. Um, this is a 60s slim taper. And it just so easy to play. It's like butter. So there you go. And a last side note, in case you didn't know, to get that Jimmy Page sound, he used the middle toggle a whole lot. Um, if you want the jangly sound, that is definitely the position you want to be in. Also, for this, again, uh, cheap setup. So I got the Head Rush 108 there, and then I got the Line 6 Pod Go. And um, I added two distortions. So I used the 3B double norm setting. Uh, add a little gain to these, but anyway. You go to your edit mode so that you can turn these on and off so turn off my delay and then got the minotaur great sound the tube screamer on here doesn't sound as good but if you want double gain um, you don't want to use two minotaurs they kind of conflict with each other so I use the scream 808 just to give it some boost and that's how you get that huge gain sound so there you go the only quality control faux pas I see on this Epiphone is this gash. I've cleaned it. I thought it was just one of those like white dust from the factory, but you can rub and you can feel the texture that that is an actual like gash in the wood. So I may contact Musician's Friend to swap it for another, but I do love it and it's definitely a keeper otherwise.